Hello and welcome to the Chidori's door. Um, let's just say that at first I didn't want to make this, but then I just uh, said to myself, you know, why not? So here we are. Um, we're just gonna start off quick. Uh, I'm gonna make a new composition. Uh, make the width uh, 2000 and the height 2000. Now, why, the reason why we do this is because we want to move around the Chidori on our footage without it cutting off any effects. So, let's just stay with the program. Okay, so it's 2000 by 2000. Now, in this composition, we're going to be making the energy ball. So, we're going to create a new solid. And I'm gonna make it, uh, color doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna make it light blue, make comp size, press OK. Uh, we're gonna take the uh, Eclipse tool, and that's just the tool next to the uh, pen tool. Um, if you don't have the Eclipse tool selected, just press Q a few times until you get like a circle there, and, uh, and it will say Eclipse tool. So, what we get is the following. Let me just turn down few things over here. Now what you notice is um, is that I put it on a lower resolution so you guys can see everything a little bit better. So uh, we have this light blue solid over here. So we have the Eclipse tool selected. I'm gonna click on the layer and just make a circle. Not too big, not too small. You can scale it down later on if you want to. I'm gonna take the circle and just drag it into the middle. Now I'm just gonna zoom in on this so you guys can see what effects we're gonna be applying and the results of those effects. Um, we're gonna be applying first um, trap code shine, and uh, we're gonna change a few settings. I'm just gonna put the ray length down first to zero. Let me just change the render mode to a quarter so uh, it will all render a bit faster for me. Um, so we have to shine effect on the layer. We're gonna um, uh, colorize it. Uh, we're gonna stay with the three color gradient and we're just gonna make it light bluish. Um, I'm gonna take the mid tones and we're gonna go to a uh, light blue color. Uh, we're gonna sit in between, let's say here, light blue. And we're gonna take the shadows and gonna go to a bit darker blue, like that, and press OK. Now we're gonna incre increase the boost light and we'll increase the ray length. Uh, with trap code shine, when you attach it to a layer, it always has a point um, where the light source is coming from. Uh, so you just press on the effect shine of the layer, and this point will appear. You are gonna move it to the middle, just where the uh, circle is, and we're just gonna increase the ray length to let's say uh, 5 looks good and we're gonna increase the boost light a bit more to let's say 3 and that looks pretty good right there as a energy ball uh, we're still gonna be applying one more effect to the energy ball which is gonna be um, trap code star glow and what this does is give it a very nice looking glow uh, we're gonna go to the preset of the star glow and we'll change it to scope and we're gonna increase the uh, streak length a bit if you wanna do that personally I don't think it's really necessary but yeah you can just leave it as it is really okay so that pretty much concludes the energy ball composition uh, we're gonna be creating uh, the lighting composition now. So, uh, new composition, and we're gonna change the lighting composition to let's say 1500 by 1500, or it doesn't really matter. It's just 
as long as it's not smaller than your footage. I'm just gonna make it 1500 by 1500. <coughs> so we're gonna um, be making the lighting now. Uh, go to layer, new solid, um, make it black and of course we're gonna use the effect um, advanced lighting we're gonna go effect generate advanced lighting it's somewhere over here yes the second option oh my bad um, as you can see the option uh, where it instantly comes with is a lot of people use this because they're instantly impressed by the effect well I was not so I know you guys weren't either and you tried playing around with the settings and so did I so we're just gonna um, change the settings to the settings that I had with my Chidori um, we're gonna select the effect advanced lighting and lighting type change it to Omni which is the fifth option um, yes it's loading right now so as you can see uh, there are two points one point decides the position of the lighting and the other point decides how far the lighting will go around in that radius um, just don't drag the second point too far I mean we want the lighting to be rendered in the composition we don't want to go uh, let the lighting go outside the composition so uh, this distance is good as it is uh, let me just zoom in a bit wow the rendering is not going as well now uh, you can see it right there the lighting doesn't cross the composition okay well since that's okay well now we're gonna be changing a few other settings of the lighting we're gonna go to conductivity state and uh, we're gonna animate that so we're gonna click on a little clock go to the uh, beginning of the composition by the way um, drag your timeline to 15 seconds and make the conductivity state 50 so what we get now is a lighting layer bouncing all over the place now we're gonna go to core settings core radius to free and it's gonna make the lighting a bit bit bigger um, the core opacity uh, is good the core color is good too so core settings is good as it is uh, we're gonna go to glow settings and the glow radius and glow opacity is good as it is too so we're just gonna be changing the color over here uh, move the bar of the colors to like say a bit dark bluish and we're gonna be sitting between the white and dark blue so we're gonna get a nice looking glow of the lighting uh, this color is good let's take a look at that closer yeah it looks pretty good okay that concludes the glow setting uh, the alpha obstacle will uh, is gonna change to 7 from 0 to 7 uh, the turbulence is gonna be around 3 yeah that looks good and the forking you can leave to 25 you can bring it down a bit if you want to it depends on what you like but I definitely recommend you stay above 15 percent okay uh, the DK we'll change that to 0 0.4 um, the only thing we're going to be changing now is expert settings um, core drain and we're going to put the core drain like to 15 percent and what that does is it kind of fades it's the uh, last part of the lighting it makes it a little bit darker so it doesn't look like it the lighting just gets cut off it's just uh, less intense over here okay so that concludes the lighting settings